Hi guys, welcome back to Debris Day. Today on Debris Day is an unboxing video. Today I've been shopping for a metal bandsaw. Let's go. So guys, I've been to Axminster Tools and I've placed an order and this box arrived just the other day. This is an Axminster MCB 115 SHD swivel head metal bandsaw. Um, I went for Axe Minister over the Clark because as I understand it, this has got wheels, you can move it around the workshop. Apparently this has got a cleaner accuracy on the uh, actual where you connect the metal to the vise and actually how the, uh, the bandsaw cuts. And I needed something to up my game when I'm making my Damascus. So from the last video, he's desperately looking for his Damascus, on my mill I made this lovely square bar of Damascus steel. But I now need a way of cutting it rather than just using angle grinders and, and uh, the other bandsaw that I use which is over there. I want something a little bit more accurate that will cut nice square bars. So we, uh, we purchased the Axe Minister. Let's get it unboxed and let's see what's in there. Let's go. Okay, let's open up the box. There's two boxes. This is box one of two. Ooh. Uh, MTB swivel head metal saw. Pop that on the side. I think we might need the instructions for this one. Uh, inside the top, you've got a spring and a wheel. And a big piece of polystyrene. Ooh. I'll show you this, guys. This is the actual bandsaw. Uh, if we just take this polystyrene off, wowzers, look at that. It's got the blade in it, it's got the angles in it. That is pretty damn special. Wow, it's growing to the side because it's upside down for me. So it's got cutting capacities. Uh, so a quick read of those. So 90 degrees, 40 degree, 45 degrees, 60 degrees. Max circular capacity at 90 degrees is 125 mil. Rectangular is 100 mil. Uh, max rectangular capacity is 100 mil by 150 mil. So that should be more than enough for what I want to do. It's got the, uh, the old motor on the back there. Just zoom it so you can see that. Got the old motor at the back there. Some cables. I guess the other box, which is over there, I guess that box has got the standard in. So I'm going to make the box up over there first and then come back and, and mount this on there, over there. Okay, let's go. Okay, get in the second box. Oh my word, this is heavy. This one, pop this on top of here. Open this up. Aha! Wheels! Oh, they're quite sturdy. Pop this on the side here. Okay, let's get rid of the rubbish. Recycle people, recycle. Check over there. And now we are going to have to go to the instructions, people. Okay, just so you can see what it's going to look like. This part of the unit's in that, uh, that second box over there. Presumably, I'm going to make this part here with the wheels and the stand so I can then lift it and wheel it around. I am, for the first time probably ever, going to have to go to the instructions. Okay, so a quick status update. First of all, look at this, this bend, this bit of damage. Um, so best part of £500 uh, band, so I didn't expect that. Um, very confusing. Um, you have three sides. Um, and you put coach bolts at the back and then you put normal screws down the bottom. But then on the diagram shows you one faceplate uh, across here. But according to what I've got now, you have now a door and then two additional plates. So they've changed the design to the instructions. But uh, that's where we are at the moment. I'll keep going for the time being and uh, give you another update. Okay guys, uh, I want to give you a brief update. It's the next day. Um, now, you saw in the last part of the video that I found damage on the base of the bandsaw. So I contacted Axe Minister and they were um, absolutely amazing. They recognised the problem and they shipped me out a brand new box and since I've received that box, which was delivered exactly the next day, so thank you Axe Minister, 
Um, I've got this now. So as you can see, I've now got this bit here, which had the damage before, if you can remember, if I just go in this way, there's damage all on this side, it's now not there. And there's also damage over here, that's now gone completely. So they've given me a brand new box. So I'm gonna continue putting this together. Um, I'm gonna get it so it's all, all finished today, get the wheels on and etc. And then Mini Deep's now gonna lift the actual saw from there onto here, and then we'll uh, see what it cuts like at the end on my, my big chunk of Damascus. So, um, so uh, thanks Tracks Minister for the prompt response. Absolutely brilliant, thumbs up to you guys. Let's get continuing with, uh, with the build of the, uh, the pencil. It's a Tamil, it's a t Wheels! Okay, update time. As you saw, we just put the wheels on. We've got the rubber grommets on the bottom. Now, as I understand, we're going to put the saw from this box here onto there. Let's do that. I'll get mini dubs to help me because it's quite heavy. <laughs> Next update, guys. So what I've done, um, there's four of these little bolts on the corners. I've just attached that, but we're getting there now. Um, looking really good. There's a couple of extra springy bits I've got to put on the end here. And I think we need to adjust the belt tensioner on the top here. I think you can adjust it from a small to a big spindle and then we can have a little try on uh, cutting so yeah almost done so guys there we go so uh, i just put this additional wheel on the back a little spring tensioner there um, and i just had to undo an allen key just to uh, move this bar out right? but we have our cutter set up so this is the axe minister model engineer series um, i'm now going to try it for the first time on our piece of damascus this is our damascus here uh, we're going to try and cut the end bit off and see how we go. So I wanted to show you the end of those first cuts. Um, there's a bit of uh, adjustment required just in the screw here to make sure that the, the blade gets all the way through my Damascus but I've made very consistent cuts um, through the Damascus, and these are the lovely cuts here. The first one was a little bit erratic, but the second and third were cuts are very, very, very straightforward. Um, perfect. So guys, that's the Axe Minister Swivel Head Metal Cutting Bandsaw, the MCB 115HD, uh, about 450, 500 pounds. Um, I'll put a link to the description down below. Absolutely brilliant additional tool to the workshop. So as well as the mill, which you'll see in another video, we've now got this to be able to cut very square um, pieces of Damascus, which means when we stack them, we'll have no ear gaps between them, which means we can make better metal. Anyway, guys, that's it for today. Hope you found it useful. Give me a, a thumbs up if you like it. Give me some comments, share, like, all that's of good stuff, and subscribe if you like this type of videos. Cheers, guys. See you soon. Take care. Bye.